Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Vast here doing another movie review of the of the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, I saw it twice. Um, I saw it on Friday, and then I saw it yesterday. And um, yeah, I was really impressed with it. No pun intended, but it was an amazing movie. It was really good. Um, I of course I do have some problems. Um, first of all, the roles of Green Goblin being switched. You know, Norman Osborn wasn't Green Goblin in the movie, his son was. I kind of had a problem with it, but I know Norman Osborn didn't die. He, he was probably like fake or something. Um, I love Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man in this movie. I I really, really loved it. And I, of course, I love the suit, how he looks. I really do like that. Um, I like how he's trying to figure out how his parents died, all that. And by the way, there are spoilers in my review. Um, Gwen Stacy, I really, really liked her. Um, she was a great actor, really hot, really, really great acting. I didn't, I didn't get annoyed by her by one minute. Like um, Kristen Dunst does Mary Jane, I really, really liked Gwen Stacy. And when she died in the movie, spoiler, she did die in the movie. Um, I did get the feels, you know, I really got. It was a really mo emotional during that part, and that did happen in the comics, but the way they did it in the movie was great, so I really did like that. Um, Electro, I thought he was great. Jamie Foxx playing a weirdo, I thought that was a really good role for him. And then when he became Electro, I thought it was even better, so I really did like Electro. Um, at first, I thought Jamie Foxx was China, kind of a tryhard when he was being... Um, what do you call it? Max Dillon. But um, as the movie went on, I started to like it. Um, Harry Osborn. Oh my God. I love Harry Osborn in this movie. In the um, Sam Raimi films, I really, really did not like him. He was James Francisco as as Harry. Fa I mean Harry Osborn. I really didn't like that one. But in this one, I, it was really good. You know. Um, he was a really good actor. I was very impressed. And when he became Green Goblin, I really did like that. Um, the thing I did not like is that they used some parts of Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3. So when Harry Osborn became Green Goblin, it was kind of like how Venom became... I mean, Eddie Brock became Venom in Spider-Man 3. It was, it was kind of annoying. It was like, what? Really? Are you serious right now? You know, it could have been original, but it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. And um, when Spider-Man was stopping the bus and it was about to hit his, the Asian guy, I, it was similar to how we stopped the train in Spider-Man 2. But it's all good. You know, whatever. Um, I loved Aunt May in this movie. She was really good. Um, you know, at first in the first one, I she was okay. But in this one, I felt like she was great um seeing her after uncle ben died you know all that is really cool um i really did like the easter eggs you get an easter egg of felicia hardy you know we might get a black cat obviously um the vulture and doc ock what um doc ock arms and vulture wings i'm really excited for like a sinister six or maybe like doc ock and vulture being in their own separate spider-man movies so i'm really excited for that and um yeah it was a really good movie um what i kind of did not like were all the like romantic um scenes some of them were unnecessary like when gwen stacy's going to apply for that college um i didn't like that part that was i felt like that shouldn't been in the movie that could have waited or not been in the movie at all but other than that, I really did like the relationship between Gwen Stacy and Spider-Man. Um, and in the beginning of the movie, you see um, Spider-Man is about to graduate, and um, how everyone, how Gwen is waiting on him. Everyone's like, "Oh, where is he? Where is he?" And he's fighting crime, and he shows up in the graduation. He's, he's taking off his costume. And he goes up on the stage. I really did like that part. And you see Stan Lee in that in that scene. It was really good. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I gotta say. Um, you know, this movie had hope. Um, 
I was a little disappointed, but it was a lot better than Spider-Man 3 and a lot better than Amazing Spider-Man 1. So this has to be my third favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. So it was really good. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, you know, I really did like the movie. It was a really good movie. Um, so yeah, check it out. It was it was worth watching. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, I'm not gonna watch it. It was it wasn't really that good." Um, in my opinion, Captain America was better, but this is worth watching. It was really good. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoy my review, and I'll catch you later. Peace. I forgot to mention a few things. Um, first of all, I loved the web slinging in um, the movie. It was really nice. Um, gr growing up, I played a lot of Spider-Man games, you know, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, you know, stuff like that. And just to see him doing some of the stuff that I played in the video game is just crazy, you know. The dual web sling, um, the underhand web sling, just crazy. I really did like the web slinging. And you can you get to see it from Spidey's perspective, from like um, a low-key perspective. It's a really, really, I really did like the web slinging. I also liked how they showed Spidey's strength. It was really good. You know, when we, he was picking up the cop car, um, when he stopped the bus, I already said that. Um, and, you know, I just really liked that they showed off his strength, you know. Not just making it seem like he can just climb walls, web sling, have spider sense. Oh, and speaking of spider sense, I really did like how they did the spider sense in this movie. It, it was really nice. I really did like it. And um, I also like this webbing, you know, the magnetic webbing that they came up with, Gwen and Spider-Man. Well, actually Gwen in the movie, but yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are giving this movie hate. Um, you know, I'm a Spider-Man fan. He's my favorite superhero, but uh, still, there was some bad things about this movie, but there was also a lot of great things about this movie. So it wasn't a waste of money, but I felt like... Um, a lot more time could have been put into it, you know. Um, especially with the rhino part. I really didn't like that they had rhino at the end. That was terrible. That was terrible. I was really looking forward to having rhino in the final battle with Green Goblin, Electro. That would have been really cool. But he wasn't there, so that really sucked. But, yeah, all right. This is actually the end of the video, you know. Go see the movie if you're a Spider-Man fan. Um, if not, then... Don't wait. Don't waste your money. I'm not saying it was a bad movie. I'm just saying like a lot of things could be better. But yeah. All right, guys. Peace.